Hey makers, this is Yana with Makis. Today I'm going to be working in Inkscape to show you how to create a border or background layer for your cake toppers. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to be working with an already created design that you can find in my shop. There's a link below in this video. Let's open the file. All you do is you drag it. Let's make it bigger so you can see what I'm working with. All you have to do is go up to path and go to length offset. You're going to see a little diamond appear somewhere in your graphic. Right here we have on the top left corner. And what you do is you click on it and you drag as much as you want to drag to create that offset. I think this is pretty good. So let me show you behind stuff so you can see this. These little offset marks is something that the program created and we can remove it. It's a little bit difficult to remove it in Inkscape. Best way is to save this file out and work with it in Cricut Design Space. It's so much easier to get rid of these in Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and do that. File, save as, and go ahead and save Let's call it Cake Topper and hit save. Now we're here in Cricut Design Space. Let's go ahead and upload our image. Hit save, select it, and then insert image. Now uh, let's go ahead and make it bigger. It's really small so we can see what we're working with here. Okay, now let's ungroup and see here right here. Let me make it a little bit more bigger. You can see the white spots even more. But to get rid of this, it's very simple. So let's select the shape and click on contour. Click on right here so you can see it all. See all of these little shapes, it would have taken forever to get rid of an Inkscape. Right here, all you have to do is hit Hide All Contours. And then click on the X. And now they're all gone. It's very simple in Cricut Design Space. And at this point, you're pretty much done. You can select both or select all layers to align center to see what it will look like and that's it you are complete for this portion of the project just go ahead hit make and cut it out and if you have any questions join Marcus Makers Club on Facebook and post your questions there I'll see you there talk to you soon bye